Yeah, Mason, I never clocked you for much of a gambler. We'll see how to cut the you're always broke. I actually lent him on the job. Oh, does that mean you might actually pay for these? George Gannon worked here a while ago. What do you know about him? Yeah, he uh, kidnapped and killed some kid, didn't he? Want yours? Thanks. Okay, have a look. I don't know much. He worked in the counting room and seemed a nice enough guy. He quit or get fired? I have to ask Al about that. But each account, you know? Yeah, I tried them all. Both banks? Yeah, both banks. Look, we don't know anything yet. I've still got some calls to make. I'm checking on that right now. Just give me a minute. Was this her? Well, give me a second. Okay, we got to do something, right? Okay, my guy, First Federal, says that the order came from a judge. Oh. So what do we have now in Arachnid's funds? We have enough to keep the lights on for a few weeks. We're not going to be able to meet at least half our payroll. How the hell that happened? Ask Nick. Barry cooked the goddamn books, bro. Don't be bro. so dramatic. Oh, no, no, I didn't no, cook no, anything. Exactly. It's like, hey, hey. Exactly. hey! Well, if we're going to be here super late, I'm going to order a pizza. Uh, anyone have any preferences? Got uh, Bricktown, Domino's. Shut up, Jerry. Okay. Judge Ito, this is extreme and unwarranted. Noted, Miss Abramson. Let's talk venue. So that justice can be served. I know what you want, Miss Bozanich, but the downtown calendar is full. And this pretends to be a long and complicated trial, and therefore calendaring it for Judge Weisberg's court in Van Nuys. Have a nice drive. Boy, Not very subtle, are they? No, they are not. I'm drawing us. Thank you for thinking of us. Look, I would not be doing my job if I didn't recommend strongly, strongly against doing this party tomorrow night. And you were looking at spending a quarter million dollars in a single night. Now, that is an entire month of burn. We're trying to line up financing here, right, Jerry? Well, yes, we are, well, obviously. Who the fuck do you but think we got I'm to... advising this thing? Okay, but do we have to bring in Chef Urusao? Mm -hmm. uh, we can just order from Nobu. Mm -mm. And meanwhile, who are these consultants? We got Micah, we have Tonya. We don't even have last names. Who are these people? You just let me worry about them. Am I right, Ronald? We'll make that shit. Finally, somebody who gets me. You'll need Mr. Dacey's sign off on that. I know, but here's the thing. It was kind of... Well, other than gender, one other thing is different about this victim. These fresh abrasion marks on the neck? Strangulation? That's your cause of death. No sign of drowning here. The die time results are back on the water in the lungs of the first two victims. Now, this is interesting. 9,200 milligrams of lead, 320 milligrams of mangrove. Do you mind if I just take a peek at this? I, Agnes Eugenia Miller of 2120, yada, 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 do hereby bequeath all of my tangible personal property, insurance covering such property, including all real estate, to the Humane Society of Oahu. Well, Mrs. Miller did see fit to carve out two exceptions to her will. Score. Cat figurine collection. Mm -hmm. uh, given the sensitivity you showed when you had one of the figurines repaired. Yeah. My understanding is that Mr. Schiff is currently on parole and is living in a halfway house. Due to the unsuitability of your current residential status, I am duty bound to find a more satisfactory home for Mr. Pickles. Oi! Hocho Hanase! Nasero, my tachinara. Wagahayo. Hocho Hanase. Hanase! Well, the good news is she's stable, and she gives every indication that she will wake up. Okay, so what's the bad news? We don't know when that will be. Uh, there was some internal bleeding caused by the head injury, and until she does wake up, we won't know whether there will be any long-term ramifications. Like? Speech, certain skills. All we can do is wait. There's no easy way to say this. Oh, no. Did the, the, the test results? Uh, no, no, her condition remains unchanged. Look, the hospital is cracking down. On what? Your mother is in this country illegally. She has no insurance and the hospital cannot afford to absorb the cost of her care. I, I don't understand. What does that mean? That when the hurricane lifts, we will have to notify ICE, and they will deport her to Venezuela, where she can continue to receive care if she needs. It's called medical repatriation. 
I think it's safe to say that there's no sign of any long-term damage. But we will run tests to make certain. Now, as to the other matter... Oh, please. Not here. Apparently, it has gone away. You must have friends in high places. Anyway, I was glad to hear it. Sarah Braverman. Uh, uh, yeah, that's yeah. me. Hi, I'm Arnold Lee. My daughter Sylvia is an AP chem with Hattie. Uh, she raves about your daughter all the time. She says that, uh, that she's a genius. My daughter's Amber Holt. Oh. Oh. Well, nice to meet you.